Sensory receptors are specialized cells that detect a specific type of stimuli and convert that into nerve impulses to be transmitted to the brain for interpretation. For example, it's your brain's way of knowing that this object is in fact a good boy. Receptors transmit four kinds of information on the properties of stimuli, modality, location, intensity, and duration. Modality of a stimulus is a type of physical phenomenon that is sensed by different specialized receptors which attune to certain kinds of energy, such as touch or light. Humans have several, including chemoreceptors, mechanoreceptors, photoreceptors, and thermoreceptors. The location of a stimulus can be determined by the location of the receptive fields that are activated and the pathway that is activated to transmit this information to a particular area of the cortex. Also, the input from adjacent sensory receptors is processed in adjacent regions of the cortex. By looking at which neuron brought the information, we can determine where it came from. The intensity of a stimulus can be coded in two ways. First, intensity depends on the number of receptors activated, and this is referred to as population coding. Second, intensity also depends on the frequency of action potentials produced by the receptors and this is called frequency coding. Finally, the duration of the stimulus uses two types of receptors that either adapt slowly or quickly to code changes in an action potential's firing frequency. Slow adapting receptors are called tonic receptors and they give information about spatial attributes of the stimulus and continue to respond to the stimulus so long as it's present. Fast adapting receptors are called phasic receptors and they give information about changes in the ongoing stimulation by responding only at the onset and offset of the stimulus. Now that we know the four properties of a stimulus and their mechanisms for coding, we will use them in an example. Good doggos are one of the wonders of this world, and we are blessed to observe them. But how do our receptors know we are in the presence of these majestic beasts? When viewing a doggo, light is the primary modality which is used and this corresponds to photoreceptors found in the retina of your eye. The location of the doggo is determined by where the light from off the doggo meets your photoreceptors. Doggos in your periphery will stimulate more receptors in the periphery of your retina, whereas those you are staring at will be more foveated. Population coding represents the intensity of the stimulus. For instance, far away doggos will activate fewer receptors and details will not be clear. However, the closer they get, the more receptors will be activated and we can appreciate their intricate details. Finally, duration is represented in how photoreceptors are tonic, producing a constant signal while light stimulus is applied. In summary, modality, location, intensity, and duration are the four properties of a stimuli, each with their own unique mechanism of coding.